Okay, let's give you guys some practice. So find the volume underneath this surface uh, in this specified region, in this specified region, which is this region here. So when it comes to dA, you can break up dA as dx times dy, or you can break it up as dy times dx. So if you decided to go for this option, then uh, then you, well, if, if you look at the inner integration, the inner integration, um, well, this is dx, so you've got to have uh, x equals something, and you've got to have x equals something here, x equals something here. So you're moving parallel to the x-axis, so you're moving parallel to the x-axis. So you can see you're scanning from, from 0 to 3, from 0 to 3, from 0 to 3. So this is going to be from 0 to 3. And then looking at the outer integral, which is this thing here, well, the outer integral, well, you've got to scan from, uh, you're moving along like this, you're scanning along like this. So you, you can see that you start at y equals, well, it's, it's got to, this y has got to match up with this. So you've got a y here and a y here, y equals something, because these two have to match up with this y here. So it's going to, well, you can see that you're scanning from y equals 0 to 2. Look, you're scanning all the way from 0 to 2. So this would be from uh, 0 to 2. Okay? And, and the other option is for you to do it this way. Well, doing it this way, looking at the inner integral, you're, you're moving parallel to y. So, uh, so, so it's going to be y equals something, y equals something. So parallel to the y-axis. Well, parallel to the y-axis is you doing this. Parallel to the y-axis. So you, you can see you're scanning from 0 to 2. So you're scanning from 0 to to two, and uh, and looking at the outer integral, so uh, so you can see that um, you're scanning like this from x. Well, this is dx, so this must be x equals something, x equals something. So you can see that you're scanning from from x equals zero to all the way to x equals three. You can see you're scanning from x equals zero all the way to x equals three. So to evaluate this um, this volume, you can either work with this or you can work with this it's up to you which one you want to use well anyway press pause and have a go okay so to do this um, it turns out that this method is better uh, this method is long-winded because um, because here you've got to integrate with respect to x first while looking at this this block can here you've got two blocks this block contains x this block contains x x is your variable here so, so here you've got to use integration by parts. Whereas if you look at this here, this is a constant because you're doing it with respect to y, and um, and y only exists in this bubble here. So this is a constant. So, so, so integrating it with respect to y is a lot easier than integrating it with respect to x because here you've got to use um, integration by parts. Well, let's make use of this. So to evaluate the volume, we need to make use of this. So we need to integrate that. So to integrate that, it would be uh, us looking at the inner integral, it would be us integrating with respect to y first. So uh, this is, you've got two blocks here. This block here is a constant. And y is this. Well, if you're trying to integrate this, um, you're looking for something, you're looking for something in such a way that when you differentiate it, it gives you this. So, um, so looking at this, um, make this to be your initial guess x y so when you come to differentiate this when you come to differentiate it it would be um, e to the power of the bubble e to the power of the bubble and then you times the derivative of the bubble itself um, well you're integrating with, with respect to y so that x there's a constant so it would be uh, it would be times the derivative of the bubble itself would be x so when you differentiate this it would be this so you can see that um, well, you making this initial guess, when you differentiate this, it will give you this thing here. So when you when you integrate this, it's just simply e to the power of xy. And then now, um, now you're integrating from 0 to 2. From 0 to 2. So now you've got to put this into the y. So that would be e 2x. And then you take away and then put 0 into the y. That would be... Uh, e to the power of 0, which would be 1. So you take away, you take away 1. 
Well, anyway, this whole thing here is this thing here. So now integrate it with respect to x. Well, integrating with respect to x, um, well, if you're trying to integrate this, look for something in such a way that when you differentiate it, it gives you this. Make this to be your initial guess. But when you differentiate this, it will give you, um, well, it will be e2x, and then times the derivative of the bubble itself, uh, which would be 2, which would be uh, 2. But you don't want this 2 here. So you um, you go back to your initial guess, stick a half in there. Now when you differentiate it, it will just give you this thing here. Well, the point is, if you integrate this, it will then give you this. And then uh, when you integrate it with respect to x, it will give you this. And we're integrating from 0 to 3, from 0 to 3. So now we've got to put this into here, which will be e to the power of 6 divided by 2. And then take away, put this into here. That would be 3. And then you take away, put 0 into here. So that would give you 1. And then you take away a negative. Well, it's going to be plus, And then put this into here. It's going to be 0. So your final answer will be this. Okay?